When we want to persist data in an AKS cluster, we typically use an Azure disk. Through the Kubernetes API, we can provision the Azure disk and then mount it to the pod. Then the pod can persist data in that disk that could be like raw files or a database. But that Azure disk will be mounted or will be used only by one pod. Now, if you want storage to be used by multiple pods, then the Azure disk could not be used in this case. So here we should use the Azure file share. In this demo today, I'll show you how to use the Azure file share and how to mount it into a pod in AKS. So let's get started. To show you how that works here, I'll use this GitHub repo that contains the YAML files that we'll be using today and the script with all the commands that we'll see in this demo. I have already that environment on my uh, laptop right here. So here I have actually two demo, one for the dynamic file share and we'll start with this one. Then later we'll see how to use the static file share if you have a file share that already exists and you want to mount it to a disk. So let's start first with dynamically provisioning the file share. So here I have actually the uh, script that I'm going to use to deploy the YAML files and those YAML files I have a couple of them. So first here I start with let's say the persistent volume claim. This is the object that will be used by my pod to ask for a storage account or to ask for a file share that could be either actually a file share or that could be an Azure disk. In this case I want to use the uh, file share. And then I'll define inside the storage uh, class I'll define how what is the API or the provisioner that will be used to create the Azure file share and in this case here it's this uh, kubernetes.io slash Azure file and that will be recognized within my AKS cluster as the provisioner that will go to provision an Azure uh, file share. So there, here I specify some of the properties for that file share, like the parameters that I have here, like the SKU name, I'm using the standard LRS, and then uh, I can specify the name for my file share, and in this case, when it will be created, it will, it will be called pod file share, and then I can specify here the uh, right access, and then some other parameters that we can uh, customize. Not inside that uh, PVC or the persistent volume claim, here we are specifying the maximum size for the file share which is 5 gigabytes in this case. So let's see now how to mount this file share into a pod. And there I have my pod which is a sample Nginx pod from Microsoft uh, uh, MCR container registry. And here I am just using the simple syntax for mounting a volume and then mounting that, uh, 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 mounting that volume into my pod. So now from the command line, I'll go to deploy the storage class and the persistent volume into my AKS cluster. So from this console here, I'm already connected to my cluster, which have three nodes. And right now I start deploying my PVC and the storage account. So I run the command cube control apply, then the Azure file SC YAML file that will go to provision my storage class. And then here provision the Azure file. Let's make sure that uh, PVC was created correctly. If I run kube control get PVC, then I can see here my PVC was created and it was found correctly. Now if I switch to the Azure portal to the resource group where I have the resources for my cluster, that resource group that starts by default with MC for the managed cluster, here if I go to refresh, I can see that here I have a storage account that was created for me automatically with a random name right here. If I click on that storage account, I see that here it was created in the same resource group and in the same location as my AKS cluster. And from here, if I go navigate to the file shares, I would see the file share that I've specified in my YAML that is the pod file share. Now to access this file share, my AKS cluster needs to get to grant access to the storage account and that will be done through the access keys where here I have these access keys into my storage account. So these, uh, these uh, access keys will be also stored in my AKS cluster in a secret file. If I switch to my command line and run the command kube control get secrets, here I can see a secret that is created to save the um, storage account key for my uh, file share. 
If I try to display this secret in the YAML format, oops, should be cube control get secret. And then here I get the metadata, which is the Azure or the name of my, the Azure uh, storage account. And then I'll get here the key that is used for that storage account. So this secret now will be used when I want to get access to that file share from my pod. So let's go now to try to deploy a pod that will have access to this file share. For that, I'll be using this app-pod.yaml file, which is a simple Nginx pod that will try to connect and mount to the uh, file share. So I'll go to deploy using qcontrol apply-f the name of my YAML file. Once my pod is created, I'll go now to access to that pod using the command kubectl exec pod and then the name of my pod, which is Nginx. And from here, I'll go to get the content of the uh, mounted volume. So let's try ls mount uh, uh, mount uh, slash Azure and here the volume exists, but there is there is no file there. So let's create some sample content. Let's just echo hello world into that file called my file. And now if I do ls again, I would see that file was persisted in that uh, file share. Just to make sure I'll go to show the content of that file and here it is. And I can also show the content of this file from the Azure portal. So if I switch back to the Azure portal, go again to the my file shares and select my pod file share. Here we'll see the file that I've created from my pod that is my file.txt. If I want to show the content, I'll go to edit. And yeah, here we get the content of that file stored into my file share. Let's exit from this container. So we said that the file share actually could be used by multiple pods. So it could be accessed by multiple pods. And here I'll go to try to access it from another pod that is my app to pod.yaml. This is again as another Nginx pod uh, that uses the Nginx image and it will try to access to the same file share. I'll go to deploy that pod. Once the pod is created, I'll go to try to access to that pod actually by using the command cube control exec pod and then the name of my pod, which is called in this case nginx-2. And then I'll try to get access to the same my file.txt uh, file. So I'll, I'll try here to cut the content of that file. Oops dot txt write the name correctly and here it is so now that file share was accessed from uh, multiple uh, pods so this first scenario shows you how to dynamically create the azure storage account create the file share and mount the file share into the pod we have a second scenario actually we won't run it today but just to show you how that uh, works which will uh, mount an existing file share. Let's say you have a file share that already exists and you want to uh, uh, mount that one. The files you need to use or to create are the same almost. So you need to provision that persistent volume claim and then per uh, create the persistent volume where you specify the capacity and the options that you can specify for that uh, uh, file share and with the name of that uh, uh, file share. And of course here, because that file share was, will not be 100% managed by AKS, so you'll need to export or to tell Kubernetes what is the secret or what is the uh, storage account key that should be used with that file share. So here in this uh, sample script, I show you how that should be uh, working. So here you create the uh, secret, call it Azure secret, and then you specify the name of your uh, storage account uh, and then the key use it with that storage account. And then within the persistent volume, you should specify right here the name uh, of the secret that should be used to mount or to access the file share. I want to share one additional thing here. So from the AKS overview page right here, if you go to uh, storage from here, you should be able to see the uh, file shares and all the Azure disks that are attached to your AKS cluster. So from here, I can see my Azure file with the capacity five gigabytes that I have specified before. And you can also see if I have some persistent volumes or the storage classes that are provisioned in my cluster. 
So the Azure file share for AKS is managed as an open source project on GitHub where here following this link, I will put it in the uh, commands below, you will see here the uh, more parameters that you can specify like the SKU name, the storage account and lots of other parameters that you can uh, specify other than de the default ones. So this demo again was highly inspired from the Azure uh, documentation that shows you how to dynamically or statically create uh, and bind file shares to your pods. I hope this demo was helpful for you. If you are looking for more content about Azure AKS, then I have here more videos on my YouTube channel. Thank you.